Hello friends. In today's tutorial, let us know about bit and byte. So without wasting time, let's roll. First we will know. What is a bit? The bit is a unit of measurement, in computer science. It is the basic unit of, data processing. The symbol 0, or 1, is referred to as a bit. So, 1 bit means, 1 electronic pulse. Next we have, nibble. A group of 4 bits, is known as nibble. Now, now let, let us, us know, know about, about byte. What, what is, is a byte? byte? A byte, a byte is a unit of measurement, of measurement, of information storage in, computer science. A byte is a group of 8 bits. That is 8 zeros or 1s. Any character is normally represented by bytes. And also byte is a unit for counting, memory size. Here one thing you should keep in mind, if a computer has 16 kilobyte of memory, it means, it can store 16,384 characters. Now let us see on, how computers store data, and the combination of 8 bits, how computers store data. Computer use the binary system, which have only two number, ones and zeros. The word that are used to describe, the binary digits, which can be either, one or, zero is a bit. BIT, is a short form of binary digits. It is a smallest unit of data in a computer. This bit are ones, and zeros, that are used, to store all kind of information. From the text that appear on your screen. To the color of an image. To the sound that come out of your headphones. To store information like this, we used a bunch of bit together. The number of bit, we have determined, how much information we can store. So for a next term. It turn out, if you take 8 of this bits. 8 of these ones and zeros. And put them together, that called a byte. 1 byte, referred to 8 bits put together. In everyday term. You can think of 1 byte, has the amount of space. It take to store a single letter, or symbol, in a text document. So if you wrote a story with a thousand words, so it will required, 1000 bytes of storage space. Next, if we take 1000 bytes, and put them together, that called a kilobyte. Which is abbreviated as KB. Here I want to clear one thing, actually. There are 1024 bytes, in a kilobyte, and that because, computer used binary, and everything comes in power of 2. So, 1 kilobyte is enough space to hold about, two pages of text. Back in the late 1970s, and earlier, 1980s, the 500 quarter floppy disk, was a popular storage option. It can hold, 360 KB of information. Next. So what if now? If you have 1024 kilobytes. It called 1 megabytes, often abbreviated as capital, that is, MB. 1 megabyte is enough space to hold, about 5 large books, or, 1 photo, or, 1 minute of music. This was a 3 and half inch floppy disk. Back in the 1980s that helped 1.44 megabytes of data, which was pretty good, at that time, because most file were, pretty small. Now you are pretty wondering. What it called, if you have 1024 megabytes. Yes. A 1024 megabytes is called gigabytes. Abbreviated as GB. 1 gigabyte is enough space to hold, about 400 large books. Or. 1000 photo, or. 16 hour of music. By the mid 1990s, you could buy hard drive, and today you can buy, 1 gigabyte flash drive. Next. What it called if you have 1024 gigabytes. A 1024 gigabyte is called terabytes. Abbreviated as TB. 1 terabytes is enough space to hold, about, 400,000 large books. Or, 
a million of photos, or two years of continuous music. So today you can buy a one terabytes of hard drive which is available in market. Which is pretty amazing. Thank you all for today's tutorial.